this should be my last Acolyte video. I wanted to make another one just because um, I was kind of impressed actually with how roundly hated that the show was. I was actually impressed that uh, a lot of people did come out and in support of this show and they're they're pissed off man they are pissed it's for a different i don't think that they even like the show that much a lot of them just watched the show because it aligned with their political views you know that that was weird that, that was a weird part like the people that are most angry are the ones that are saying Oh, this was the first gay Star Wars with a diverse cast and all this stuff. I didn't like it that much, but <laughs> it's like, dude, these these people that only liked the show because of the political leanings of the creators and the actors and the writers are not fans. Disney lost this one. And hopefully, hopefully they learn from this. I'm really hoping that they do. Like I said in my last video, I'm hoping that they learn from this and maybe give us something really good here coming up, which I think they are going to do with the Mandalorian and Grogu. But I have this article right here because it was so funny. I started reading it and then I had to stop. I was like, I got to bring this to you. So I'm going to read this to you. Uh... <laughs> Star Wars The Acolyte fans react to series reportedly being scrapped after one season. The finale ended on a major cliffhanger. Kinda? Did it? Star Wars The Acolyte fans have reacted loudly to the series reportedly being axed after just one season on Disney+. Plus. News of The Acolyte's cancellation came from Deadline, whose sources revealed that Disney has elected not to proceed with Season 2. This decision yet to be announced by Disney comes just over a month after the first season aired its finale. Yeah, okay, left the door open. Let's get to the good parts here. The Acolyte proved divisive during its eight-episode run, and some people sang its praises and got a kick out of its various references and cameos. Not sure many did that including the highly anticipated Darth Plagueis reveal. Yes, Darth Plagueis was in this. He was like a cave person. He was in, now he, I know he wasn't a cave person, but it just kind of looked like it, like at first glance. It was funny. He was like sneaking around, which thank goodness that they're not doing season two because it would have, it definitely would have screwed that character up. And there's some interesting books on him out there right now that you can go read. Uh, in contrast, others were critical pointing out Issues with his incohesive writing and unusual choices that they felt didn't fit Star Wars. However, shortly after the series concluded, a group of fans launched a campaign that resulted in Renew the Acolyte, hashtag Renew the Acolyte, trending on X. Those people, plus a legion of others, were feeling frustrated and disappointed that the show didn't have more time to find its footing. Yeah, well, it it had an entire season to find its footing, so they should have really thought of that before they, they put this shitty season out uh shock okay so here's some of the tweets that i wanted to read to you shocking and devastating star wars news today the accolade has been canceled after one season so many plot threads left unanswered darth Plagueis, the tie between vernestra raul and kamir osha's turn to the dark side so many more stories to tell renew the accolade yeah that's star wars holocron they're always chilling for for these shows ricky church really sucks to hear the news of the accolades cancellation the show had a lot of promise especially in its back half Ew, is he talking about somebody's the show's back half and i was excited and intrigued to see where it would go next hopefully its story and characters can continue it in some other form but what a bummer yeah it, it will probably be a book or something or a comic book something like that so have fun reading that. This guy looks like a soy boy too. The accolade has been canceled and I am baffled. I know a lot of weird people on the internet made it their whole personality to hate it, but it was genuinely some of my favorite Star Wars, period. Many people I know enjoyed it. Sad day. If that was your favorite Star Wars period, then you got, you got to watch uh, the rest. You know, you got to watch the real Star Wars stuff, man. I, I do not know what to tell you. Cece is grieving the acolyte. Is her name? <laughs> she changed her name. Cece is grieving the acolyte, and she, of course, she has a rings of power avatar there. The acolyte getting canceled is maybe the most disappointing thing that I've witnessed from Star Wars in a while, and that's saying something. Pissed, pissed. They're so angry. It's a generally 
bleak time for television, not just because of the acolyte, everything gets cancelled, nothing gets a chance to find its footing, like before. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, look, one season of television is enough to get a footing. Like, if you watch the first season of Breaking Bad, you're, you're hooked. I was hooked after that. I watched the first season of Sopranos, I was hooked. You know, this guy has an anime avatar, I guarantee it's it's just a big fat guy. Actually being cancelled sucks. Everybody ain't, ain't perfect, yo. But at least it was trying to branch out with new ideas, characters, and stories. From what we are used to, I had something behind it. Even in the execution wasn't all there. Such a shame makes me sad. Blu-ray Angel, so you're telling me we all have to forget about the sickest Star Wars Dark Side users we've gotten in years? Yep. Skip it. We don't want to see him swimming around the ocean like a damn mermaid fish. You are allowed to not like something in a franchise, but you shouldn't be celebrating the cancellation of that you don't like in particular in that particular fandom. Because even if you didn't like it, there are those who loved it. To celebrate their pain is cruel and selfish. <laughs> we're not celebrating. I'm celebrating your pain if you were a fan because it was political. Only because of the political. If you liked the show, look, I liked some parts of the show too. Okay? I already said this. Alright, you've, you've heard it before. I liked the lightsaber fights. Everybody got pissed off at me, but... I like those, and um, that was literally the only part. Well, there were problems with the lightsaber fights, too. Like the part where Torben was holding back a Wookiee. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, an insane berserk out of its mind Wookiee holding his lightsaber back with one hand in a back uh, lightsaber hand block. Uh, do you know how strong Wookiees are? I don't, I don't think they know how strong Wookiees actually are. Look. They will rip your arms off, okay? They'll rip both your arms off at the same time. Do you know how much force it would take to rip a human's arms clean off their bodies? I I could do it, but that guy couldn't. You know, you can't do it. Holding back a 600-pound freaking Bigfoot's lightsaber like that would take a lot more than some scrawny kid's backhanded arm block. So, yeah, he he would have he would have chopped them in half there, but that's just another problem with the Acolyte. And thank goodness that we don't need to worry about it anymore. Um, goodbye, Acolyte. Good riddance. I, I'm predicting that the next thing that Disney does is going to be good. I'm going to say it right now. They're going to be working on the next movies here. Uh, I, I don't know about the Ray movie unless they fire the director uh, with a weird name. I don't think that that's going to be good but i think the next thing they make is gonna be good let me know down in the comments if you think i'm right i think that they learned a lesson from this and i hope they did so i can't look it was a shitty it was a crappy show and the people that are the most angry just just wanted to like it for the politics these people are just mad because their little political show is gone it's dead in the water and it's a good thing it is a good thing, and um, this this may be a major step for Disney. I just thought it was funny how mad they were and what they were actually saying in these tweets because they were pissed off, dude. Annabelle, Skeleton Crew era. This person's definitely a dude. Um, let's look at Twitter real quick just to see updated people uh, talking about the Acolyte here. The Acolyte was cold. I hate that they canceled it. Okay. What's so frustrating about the Accolade being cancelled is the fact that this website made it almost impossible to talk about the show in a positive light. Most people, myself included, got attacked in their mentions DMs for enjoying the show. Elon Musk's Twitter. It's an SGW there. You can like the show, man. I don't, you know, I don't get it. You'd... Here is someone who has kind of something interesting to say uh i'm on the left but the accolade was an objectively awful show it deserved to be canceled and to keep it around just to spite other people who don't like it because they don't share your political beliefs is immature and weird yes there we go wait yeah there you go bro moment that was a good one i'm gonna like that even the same people railing on Acolyte were railing on ahsoka and honestly if ahsoka came out later it would have been canceled nah nah it wouldn't Ahsoka was alright. It was it was an okay show. I'm hoping it gets better. 
got a little weird at the end with the whales. I don't think I did it in a Soka video. So yes, the only people that are mad at, that are actually angry about this are the people that wanted to use it for their political agendas, their political to say, ha ha, we got Star Wars. Another thing I wanted to say why I'm so happy that this is canceled right at, at this point is because of this interview. Take a look. Arguably the gayest Star Wars I think I had considered. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about that? Are you Not bracing the yourself? Star Wars. Not the <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gay, let's be honest. <laughs> Wesley, are you, how do you feel? Am I gay? You, yes. Well, no, I know yeah. you are gay, but I'm asking, are you excited about putting this, you know, this is gonna be a talking point. Is it gonna be a talking point? I'm sure some. Because nerds are gay. Well, yeah. not, well, some nerds are very not gay and are very threatened by gay Well, stuff. that's true, but yeah. in my world, nerds are gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Was this the fun element of No, <laughs> I don't think so. And yet people have told me that it's the gayest Star Wars and I frankly You're offended? Into it. it. No. <laughs> I'm sick of these people thinking that they can do whatever they want with this franchise, with all of these franchises, especially Star Wars. Hopefully this shows Disney that you can't just, you know, hire any insane SJW to make a Star Wars show and it will it, it will just automatically bring in money because I think this is the first show that really has united the fans since The Last Jedi divided everybody. You know what? That's a that's that's a thought there. I think this show kind of brought fans together in in hate of it. <laughs> so Thank you, Leslie Headland, and thank you, Disney, for bringing the fans together again. And I hope, I hope we can have some good stuff in the future here. Let's, let's just, let's root, let's root for Disney, guys. Root for Disney. Everybody, put your hands up there. Pray for Disney, and uh, let's, let's see if they can bring us something good. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you next time.